Hi, we're going to take a look at Google Sites um, to get ready to turn things in for class. So we're going to go to uh, Drive. So we're here on Google. We're not going to search on anything. And we're going to click on the little set of squares right here and then Drive. OK. Um, now, I've, no, I've not used this for school before, so I'm going to go ahead and click New and Folder. I'm going to type in School. If you already have an organization, that's fine. But you haven't used, if you haven't used Google Drive for school, you need to go ahead and make a folder. Okay, We're going to open up our school folder. And now I'm going to click New, and I'm going to make a new folder also. Um, the site that we're going to make is for uh, a class where we have a lot of subjects in one class. So if you're in you know, first through uh, sixth grade or first through fifth grade, um, and you take all your, you know, you have a lot of subjects in one class like math and English and everything all in one place or on from a couple of different teachers and you want to make one uh, uh, portfolio for all those subjects, that's what we're doing. Okay, so, so I went ahead and made my folder, you know, I have school and then I have the year that I'm in right now, you know, because everything's kind of different every year. So we make new stuff. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and click new and go down to more and Google Sites. Okay, now the first thing we're going to do is name our site. Okay, so, so notice that if I go back, if I click back on my tab here, uh, and I have an unnamed site, I'm going to call it, um, my name in this example is Mia Tanner. Okay, and I'm going to call it Mia Tanner Portfolio. And there we have it. And notice now that if I go back to my Google Drive and I reload it, Okay, notice now that I have the Google site is right there. So it's a whole website, but it looks just like any doc or photo or anything else in Google Drive. Okay, so let's take a look at some things that we can do when we first come in. Uh, let's take a look at the theme. So go ahead and select a theme here. Maybe pause the video and click on theme on the right and then select a theme. I'm gonna choose this one. My page title, I'm gonna call it um, introduction okay so that's uh, that's the name of the page because this is the introduction to me Mia Tanner um, and then we're gonna go ahead and I notice that I want to change the image on the um, on the top I'm just gonna select uh, one of their images I'm gonna select this nice uh, let's see here I'm just gonna select this image here okay so there is my introduction um, all right, so uh, to begin with, we're going to create some pages. Um, we're not going to cover putting stuff on the pages in this one, but we're just going to make the pages just to start out with. So we're going to click on Pages, and we're going to click New Page at the bottom, and then name it. My first one's going to be Math, and Done. Second one's going to be English, and I'm going to click Done. Next one's going to be Science, and Done. And then finally, Social Studies. Now your pages, name of your pages might be different depending on what your, uh, what your teacher says. So done. And then I'm going to even make one for PE because PE is really important or gym as you might call it. Okay, so there are our pages. So we, uh, we went, so let's just to review, we went into Google Drive. We organized, right? We created two folders, a school folder and then sixth grade because that's, you know, our sample. Maybe you're in fifth grade or fourth grade or eighth grade. Um, then we went to new, we went to sites and created our site. When it opened, we renamed it. So we renamed it our first name, last name, and then portfolio. On the first page, we did introduction. We called the page introduction. And then we went to the pages tab here on the right and we added all our pages in. Okay, just the pages that we knew we were going to use. Okay. Um, now this, we can't turn this website in just like this. So you have to understand that there are two versions of your website. One is an editable version. That's the one you're working on. The other one is the one for everyone to look at. Okay, so you can't turn this one in, all right? So what we need to do to turn it in is we need to click Publish. And the web address, we're just gonna call it Mia Tanner Portfolio. Uh, 
and we're gonna call it Miatana Amazing Portfolio because that was already used. Okay, and this is the URL right here. So do you see this URL? So HTTPS and then all this whole thing. So what I would do, uh, you know, you can copy it here. So like right click and copy. If you highlight it, right click and copy. And then we're gonna go ahead and click publish. Okay, you didn't do it there. Now we're gonna, uh, then we'll be able to get it later if you didn't do it there. So once we publish it, we're going to go on this little down arrow right here and click view publish site. And then this is what we actually want to copy. So if we're going to turn it into our teacher, we'd actually go here. We'd highlight the URL that's the Universal Resource Locator, or I think it's Universal Resource Locator, or Uniform Resource Locator. I forget which one it is, but it's a URL. Um, and then we're going to right click and click copy. And then we would paste that wherever we're going to turn it in. Okay, so best of luck on creating your first site and adding some pages to it.